Huh. And so, as far as your knowledge goes, did he go on to live as a straight man or a, a gay uh, man or how did how did he live after like? Yeah, he's he's. Well, actually younger than that, like nine. But um, yeah, it started hitting, you know. So, but I kept it a secret for a long time. Not that it wasn't a secret, you know. But listening to a lot of stuff. You know, were you like kind of a feminine acting boy or were you like just regular kind of, um, you know, regular no, kind of boy? I, was, I, was, I mean, have you talked to anybody about that? No. No, never? No, this is my first time speaking on it. So. I get that a lot. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Yeah. Um, it's the reason why I roll up on folks, man. Sometimes we got to release some of this stuff, you know? Yeah, but it's like... What's up, YouTube? Go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you like the video, share. It helps to spread it in the algorithm. Now, back to the content. Back to the content. Back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Um, so, are you homeless, technically? No. Okay, what's your situation? Um, I have my own apartment. Okay. Um, and so, how long have you had that apartment? For going on a year now. Year now? Mm -hmm. Was you homeless at one point? Yes. Okay, and was that before you had the apartment? Yes. Okay, all right. Well, congrats on that. Um, definitely congrats on that. Um, and so, how old are you? I'm 30 years old. 30? Okay. Um, and so, so at this point, I mean, do, do you have any kids? Anything like that? No children. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever been married? No. No? Okay. And so, you know, I just walked up on you. I just actually just pulled over. Um, these things be random, really random sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, all right. And so, are you like um, a transsexual? Transgender, yeah. Transgender? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm bad with the term, so please don't beat me mm -hmm. up, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> well, I ain't talking about you. Yeah, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about the audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're all learning at the same time. But okay, great. So, um, and so, you're 30 years old. And so, what was it that caused you to become homeless when you were homeless? Um, because well, I came from a small town, so I, I'm not from here, so I decided to just back up and go. And what caused me to be homeless was I didn't have all my information to um, to maintain a job at the time, and I did that to prevent, um, you know, sex work and stuff. So I decided to get my information, get a job, and just focus. You know, I, I could dig that. Um. Why did you move here without your information and stuff? I lost it on the, like sleeping in different places. My stuff got wet, so it like got damaged and stuff. Yeah, that happens a lot out here. Um, I'd say 90% of people that come out here, um, if they have to end up outside, they end up losing their credentials. Um, yeah. It's almost across the board. Okay, um, and so, you say that you, you wanted to prevent sex work. Have you done sex work before? Um, for like three months. But, you know, that's not my career, never been my career, but I got introduced to it, you know, so for me to, like, get by. So, I'm sorry, what did you say your career was? Um, I said it wasn't my career, so, you know, I got introduced to sex work, so I did it for a few months to get by, to get on my feet, like, to help me. And, you know, um, I don't judge nobody that do it, but it's not, it wasn't my career, and I wasn't, like, really comfortable doing it, so I had to make a change. I mean, you say that you got introduced to it from a friend. Was this like like a pimp? No, it was another girl. It was other girl. Okay, uh, another transgender. Um, cisgender, transgender. Okay, yeah. so just different yeah, different girls. Different. Okay, okay. Um, and so I mean, would that be like online or like kind of walking the street type deal? Um, walking the street. <laughs> okay, so it was walking the street. Yeah, no, I would have, I would have guessed that. I would have guessed yeah. maybe online. Um, yeah, but they they know not. See, I didn't have a phone and stuff then, so you know. Um, I had to do what I had to do, but yeah. So. so, so let's just start from the beginning. So you say you come from a small town. Where are you from? Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> That's not a small town. It is small. <laughs> well, Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Not... <laughs> Maryland is small. Where in where in Maryland? That's how that's how I say Maryland. Well, I'm close by. Um, I'm not too far from Washington D.C. I'm like close up in. Where? What's the? I, I used to live in well, Maryland. What's the town? Um, St. Charles. Okay, St. Charles. Hey man, shout out St. Charles, Maryland, man. And shout out the whole the whole Maryland, you know what I'm saying? The whole Maryland, the whole, the whole DMV area, all that, man, all that. Um, definitely shout out Baltimore, man. Them row houses up there be going crazy. All right. 
So growing up in Maryland, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Um, no. Okay, who'd you grow up with? My mom, my mother, my siblings, and you know, family members like here and there, because I stay a pretty, you know, uh, um, a house to house type of situation. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I'm um, the second oldest out of six. Okay, okay. Um, and so, as far as your dad, was he like active and present in your life? He was. He was in and out of jail, but when he did get a chance to um, see me, he did put effort in to see me. You know, but he had his own drug addiction going on at the time, which is I don't blame him. Life do get hard, but at the same time, I cherish every second I did have with him. You know, and I still do. He's still alive. You know. Okay, I was about to him. ask. Okay, he yeah. said that like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is your mom still alive as well? Yeah, she's still okay, alive. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and so growing up, would you say you had like a fairly normal childhood? I did. Okay, um, and so when did you realize that you uh, wanted to, you know, live as a woman? Um, I, well, actually, since I was a kid, I would say like kindergarten, I always knew since I was like a child. It's just, it would go through my mind. I just like... I would pay attention to, I would tune into it, and then I would just snap out of it and just go about everyday life until I got older. It really hit me hard to where. What age would you say? Um, it started hitting me like at 13, like 12, 13. It started hitting me like really hard. Well, actually younger than that, like nine. But um, yeah, it started hitting me, you know? So, but I kept it a secret for a long time. Not that it wasn't a secret, you know? But listening to a lot of stuff, you know. Were you like kind of a feminine acting boy, or were you like just regular kind of, um, you know, regular no, kind of boy? I was, I was feminine, you know, as a young age, and and my femininity it got it took him, you know, my it, you know, it it got um me. I'm gonna just say it. It had got me as a kid, you know, but that's not the reason why I like guys or why I'm a woman, I always knew. But I just say a person, this person took advantage of my femininity, basically. What age was that? Um, I was 12 years old. 12? Mm -hmm. Was this someone that you knew? Yeah, someone really close, actually. It was a family member? Yeah. Yeah, have it you, was. Have but you talked to someone forgave, about that before? I forgave them, you know, but... Um, what age did you forgive them? Like, did you actually sit down and talk with them type deal? Or you're saying that you just forgave them within yourself? Within myself. Have you yeah. talked to them? No. No? I don't, I mean, I don't, the only thing I would talk about that, you know? I was mean, this, but, was this like a older family member or was this a well, sibling? He was, he was older than me at the time. So. Was this a cousin or a sibling? Um, a cousin. Cousin? Yeah. And so, I mean, have you talked to anybody about that? No. No, never? This is my first time speaking on it. So. I get that a lot. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Yeah. Um, it's the reason why I roll up on folks, man. Sometimes we got to release some of this stuff, you know? Yeah, but it's like, you know, I feel, like I said, I forgive it. You know, it was wrong and stuff. And I think that's probably, like, what really made me angry as a child. Because, like, middle school, I was, like, in middle school around that time. And my mom noticed that, like, my grades had started dropping. And I started getting in a lot of fights and stuff. And I had to put pieces together. You know, as I got older and now that I realize it makes sense in my behavior at that time when I was a um, so teenager. How, why do you think you never told no one back then? Because I remember him telling me that you're going to get in trouble. Um, you know, it was just like a, you know, you better not tell type of thing. So, you know, and... How old was he at the time? 17. Huh. And so... As far as your knowledge goes, did he go on to live as a straight man or a, a gay uh, man or how did how did he live after like? Yeah, he he's married and he got kids. So. He's married and he has kids. Yeah. Did that just happen one time or was it ongoing? Um, it was it happened it happened a few times, you know. But I got tired of it. I just cut myself away. Like away from it, so. How did you get away from it? 
um, my mom, my mother, she had ended up moving like further away from where they was at, and then he ended up going to jail. So not because of that situation, but he ended up going to jail for a while. So they kind of like kept Stop us it. apart, yeah. But which was needed, <sighs> but yeah. So I mean, how did that make you feel? It made me feel less of a person. It made me feel like suicidal. You know, they're already going through what I'm like already figuring myself out, knowing who I am as a person and being a, being afraid to live in my truth, you know, from my parents or anything. And now that I'm like at peace with myself, I'm just the happiest I've ever been in my life, you know, for me to please myself now, like, you know, I couldn't ask for no better life, you know, so I'm here. Hmm. Um, yeah. And so, what what age did you like kind of transition? Um, when I was younger, I was like twenty years old, like twenty, like twenty nineteen. I'm doing an interview. Give me one second though. Let let her finish up real quick, okay? Oh. It's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was like um twenty, like nineteen twenty. Okay. And so, do you like do like hormones and stuff like that? Okay, yeah, a lot going on. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot going on, right? Okay. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> do you take hormones and things like that? Yeah. Okay. I do. Um, did you always take those or not at first? Not at first. I always was a pretty person, you know. It's just enhanced my beauty. That's okay. All. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, um, you have a feminine look all the way. A hundred percent. I'm like, not you, no, no surgery. No work. No, no surgeries, no anything? Yeah, my natural. All right, well, listen, Um, so, I mean, congratulations on getting out of the position of being, you know, homeless when you was. Um, and so what are you doing at this point? Like, what are you, like, doing for income? Like, what are you, um, what is your plan for, like, life, you know? Right now, I be braiding hair, um, but my plan for life is to become a nail tech, you know, a real um, high-end, famous nail tech, and also a model, so... You know, I have like dreams of becoming a model. And yeah, I'm going to, you know, and own properties. I want to own properties and sell Airbnbs to bring an income and buy land. So I could get back to my community. You're just trying to be a boss, B, yeah, basically? A boss. <laughs> I am a boss now. I just, I just need to. Hey, you know, I ain't so mad at so. that. I ain't mad at that. All right. Yeah. Well, listen, miss, we really appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions. Um, If anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Yes, I do. My cash app is JU7Gold. JU7Gold. Right, say gold. Gold, G-O-L-D. Okay. So it's JU7Gold, G-O-L-D. Okay. And then the number seven, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, like I say, we really appreciate you. We definitely wish nothing but the best out here, okay? Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. Okay. All right.